After years of hoping and planning, the time has come to restore Echala Talmud to its glory. The renovation, the shiputz, is about to begin. 55 years of incredible musical history, the Echala has been like a home to me and the Philharmonic, and to you, our audience. Finally, you'll have all the comforts of a modern concert hall, a new stage, comfortable seating, easy access to the lobby, and great acoustics. Next season, we will be in a temporary home, and when I say we, I mean you, our audience, and our great orchestra. If you are one of our subscribers in Jerusalem or Haifa area, you'll also feel the difference. It is a year blessed with great artists, old friends, and young stars. We'll also be celebrating our 75th anniversary with two weeks of festive concerts. This is a season you will not want to miss. Just to mention some of the highlights, Christoph von Dochnani will visit us twice. He'll open the season with Dvorak Seventh Symphony, and he'll return with an all Schumann program. Two young ladies will make their Israeli solo premieres, violinist Arabella Steinbacher and cellist Marie Elizabeth Hecker. We all know pictures at an exhibition orchestrated by Ravel, but Kurt Mazur returns with a more powerful Slavic version, the Gorchakov arrangement of Mussorgsky's masterpiece. Rafael Frubeck de Burgos, whose musical renditions of Spain are always a delight, performs Albeni's Cantos de España and another truly Spanish work, the Aranjuez Guitar Concerto performed by Angel Romero. Yuri Temirkanov will conduct La Mer and La Valse. Some of our younger colleagues will also be visiting. Gustavo Dudamel will conduct Mendelssohn's Scottish Symphony. Gian Andrea Noseda accompanies Sarah Chang in Brahms' Violin Concerto. Michael Tilson Thomas returns from America with music by Aaron Copeland and the Brahms' Second Symphony. I've had the pleasure to watch four fine Israeli conductors over the years. Nir Kabaretti, with whom I regularly work in Firenze, will appear with cellist Lynn Harrell. Asher Fish, an excellent vocal conductor, will direct Rossini's Stabat Mater. Yoel Levy returns with Shostakovich and Haydn. And by request of our IPO musicians, Omer Welber will conduct Tchaikovsky's Fifth Symphony. A word about our visiting soloists. In addition to violinist Sarah Chang, we have Mayuko Kamio. Another great violinist, Nikolai Schneider, will play Mozart and also make his conducting debut. Pianists Helen Grimaud, Yu Jia Wang, and David Kadush will perform Brahms, Beethoven, and Prokofiev. If you're ready for something really different, Sergei Nakaryakov, the no-limits trumpeter who amazes his audience with his technique and musicality, will perform Tchaikovsky's Rococo variations on the flugelhorn. Philharmonit matzia sederot amatimot lechol gil u lechol kahal. Intermezzo, concert baavirat bet kafe. בימי שישי ב-11 בבוקר, קפה, מאפה, עיתוני הבוקר, הרצאה וקונצרט שיעניקו לכם חוויה שתפתח את סוף השבוע. הסדרה לכל המשפחה, עם פעילות לילדים עוד לפני הקונצרט, בילוי מוזיקלי חינוכי נפלא לילדים עם ההורים, ואפילו עם הסבא והסבתא. וכמובן, הפילהרמונית בג'ינס, קונצרט באווירה מיוחדת עם מנחים מפורסמים. עוד לפני הקונצרט, אתם מוזמנים ליהנות מלהקה ובירה על חשבון הבית. מעניין מה הוברמן היה חושב על התזמורת הארץ-ישראלית בג'ינס. But where will all this take place? We'll be moving to the Smolarsh Auditorium on campus of Tel Aviv University. It's a hall with modern facilities and more intimate contact with the orchestra. The building is beautiful, the lobby is very elegant, and we've made sure the acoustics suit the Israel Philharmonic. We'll make every effort. The move will not be an inconvenience, and you'll keep your preferred seats. 
For our 75th birthday celebrations, we've decided to go back to our roots. In December of this year, we will be taking over an entire pavilion at the old Levant exhibition grounds in Namal, Tel Aviv. שמי גבריאל וולה. אם סבא שלי היה יכול לשבת לידי ולהיות נוכח בחגיגות ה-75, אני בטוח שהוא היה פשוט מחייך וקורן מאושר. לחגוג את יובל ה-75 עבורי זה לחזור במסע אחורנית אל העבר של משפחתי, אל השורשים של משפחתי, וגם מהשורשים של התזמורת, שהם שזורים אחד בשני, ואני בטוח שזו תהיה חוויה מרגשת ביותר. להיות חלק מהתזמורת הארץ-ישראלית היה בשביל סבא שלי גאווה גדולה. הוא תכנן את זה בעוד בהיותו באירופה. לאחר מכן הצטרף אבי, דוקטור לאו וולה, בקונטרבאס, ודודי בבסון. אני התחלתי לנגן בגיל 13 וחצי, ובשנת 67 הצטרפתי אני לתזמורת. לפני 75 שנה הניף כאן ארתורו טוסקניני בנמל תל אביב את שרביט הניצוח על התזמורת הארץ-ישראלית החדשה. החזרה לנמל תל אביב, לפסטיבל ה-75, תהיה מסע מיוחד לאלה מכם אשר זוכרים את הימים ההם. כל הגדולים יהיו כאן איתנו. מטה, גרגייב, תוכנני, מזור, צוקרמן, ברונפמן, פראיה, קיסין, רכלין, רפין ושחר. Beethoven's Emperor Concerto in a program of Beethoven and Bruckner. The Collegiate Chorale arrives from New York for Bruckner's Te Deum and Ernest Bloch's sacred service with baritone Thomas Hampson. To complete this heavenly month, Ricardo Muti will bring a great cast to perform the Verdi Requiem. <laughs> Perhaps some of you are among the lucky few who remember the Echalt 55 years ago. I can only imagine the excitement of those who entered Tel Aviv's sparkling palace of culture for the first time. But now it is our duty to preserve the past and renew our hall for the next generations. I can truly say that no orchestra has the lineup of artists and interesting programs like we have next season. Of course, part of that is good planning and our relationship with friends abroad. But you should know that your enthusiasm counts for a lot. The full halls, the applause, the excitement that accompanies every concert, that is what brings us quality artists and keeps us a great orchestra. It's incredible to think that in its first year, the Palestine Orchestra already had 6,000 subscribers, and that number has grown and grown. Be a part of the Israeli Philharmonic experience. Join us next year.